I'm Chris Fox, and this is The Bourbonite. Like our other alcoholic brethren, uh, whiskey can be paired with different foods. Wine is often paired with cheeses or um, various types of, uh, of starches and things like that. Various meals, um, things like when you eat red meat generally, you drink red wine, these kinds of things. Um, the low hanging fruit is cheese. So we're gonna give it a spin to uh, pair different whiskeys and not just bourbons, but different whiskeys with different cheeses. Now, why does whiskey pair well with cheese? I mean, I could just use the easy way out and say, well, wine pairs well with cheese, so why shouldn't whiskey? But really what it comes down to is, just like wine, uh, whiskey has those subtle nuanced flavors that cheese tends to have. So it, if you're a connoisseur of one, you, you kind of might find yourself enjoying being a connoisseur of another. But really also what it comes down to is the fact that they have very similar flavor. So when you're talking cheese, cheese has a variety of salty and sweet and sometimes spiced and bitter flavors, as well as kind of like smoked overtones and, and things like that. Same types of uh, uh, flavors and, and smells that you're gonna get out of different whiskeys and different bourbons. They pair well together because they can kind of offset each other and bring out the flavors that complement each other. So first, we'll start with an absolute classic, um, Wild Turkey. Now, I'm drinking the Wild Turkey Forgiven uh, series of, of bourbons, and uh, but it's still, it, it's that old school classic of Wild Turkey. Bourbon, specifically uh, something like Wild Turkey, has got a smokier but sweeter uh, type of flavor. So we're gonna pair that with something in the cheese realm that's a little more tart, it's got a little more bite. Um, we're actually gonna try some of this Sartori cheese. Now again, I'm from Wisconsin, so cheese is um, abundant here. So there's a variety of different types of cheeses. Uh, Sartori, I would say, is just, you would call it a hard white cheese. But really what you wanna look for is the really good stuff that actually like has those little salt granules in it that gives you that extra little kick of delicious flavor within the cheese that you're eating. Um, that's what the Sartori cheese is. And what this does is um, it, it pairs really well with that sweetness that the bourbon provides. The two together really um, it might just blow your mind. It's, it's pretty awesome. So then let's move on to something that's a little more exotic, at least to me, uh, scotch. Now, scotch whiskey has, uh, is infamous for those more peaty, smoky flavors and, uh, and definitely um, you, you want to have something that is a, a, almost has like a sweet tinge to it to kind of offset all of that. Um, now what I would say, and granted, take my recommendation with a grain of salt, but uh, if you pair like a sharp cheddar, now again, I'm in Wisconsin, I'm using Wisconsin sharp cheddar, which I highly recommend. Um, with your scotch, you, you'll get kind of a, a, a an interesting mixture because it does bring out different flavors in both the cheese and the scotch. And then let's move to something really kind of odd. Now, um, I didn't have a, uh, a rye on hand, but just a spicy um, whiskey or bourbon will also present similar uh, similar flavors to, uh, to, to, to the rye. And what I'd recommend with that then is a smoked Gouda, something that's uh, not quite hard, not quite soft, but definitely has an aged flavor. It's more an er earthy taste. And uh, what the rye does is then brings out those really smoky flavors in your cheese, but the cheese also has kind of that moot bitter flavor that brings out the sweetness that's in your bourbon. So that's it. Next time you crack a bottle of bourbon or whiskey, maybe open up a package of good cheese with it. You never know what you might find. So if you like what you've seen, hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, because there's plenty more bourbon adventures and flavors to be had. It blew my mind a little bit. A little bit? A little bit.